Hey guys, we're Yosemite Point. Today's topic I'm going to discuss about Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Uh, this is a very important topic for Yosemite examinations. Uh, let me start with this. Okay. Okay, first question. Is it acute or a chronic? Tell me. It's a chronic inflammatory process with lymphocytic infiltration. So it's a chronic process. So initially you can see hyperthyroidism because of rupture of cells. There's a release of hormones within the cells. And after that, they will have the features of hyperthyroidism. This is very important. So it's a hyper or a hyper, it's a hypothyroidism. So what do you see? So you see all the features of hypothyroidism. The other thing what I want to what I want you to know is uh, in your family they will give you the history of weight gain fatigue um, in joint or muscle pain and uh, irregular or heavy menstrual periods in a lady depression these are very important points you need to know about hypothyroidism okay the causes are it's an autoimmune disorder so it can be seen with the autoimmune disorders right so the other thing is that it has been seen with the family of hladr5 gene and cdla4 okay on examination the important point what you need to look for hashimoto's thyroiditis is uh, just see for a painless enlarged thyroid right painless enlarged thyroid that's very important point the other feature also that could be seen or that may not be seen but they are not always present like it can be with the it, it, the goiter is rubbery sometimes not always symmetrical so but what you see you see signs of uh, symptoms of hypothyroidism with um, uh, with this uh, uh, sign the painless enlarged thyroid okay so what you will ask you next best step remember in any thyroid case the best next step is always TSH whether you are suspecting uh, whether you are thinking of a carcinoma thyroid carcinoma or thyroid toxicosis or anything except for a thyroid storm where you need to treat it to treat the patient rest you need to do the next best step is TSH remember any case of thyroid TSH is the best initial step what antibodies do you expect in this patient is anti-microsomal antibodies okay so anti global antibodies you could be seen and any parasitic antibodies also. Uh, how do you manage this patient? You just give liv uh, levothyroxine, okay? Levothyroxine can be managed with this. So, okay, USMD point is young. They give the history of a young patient, painless, hypothyroid with raised antibodies, okay? It's so the best next step they will ask you. When you suspect all those things, don't, don't try to do antibodies, okay? try to do the TSH level first then you can do measure the antibodies how do you differentiate it from the postpartum thyroiditis where you see same antibodies they will give the history of a mother with a two month old baby or a one month old baby with a sign and symptoms of a thyroiditis so you need to differentiate look in a postpartum thyroiditis you see signs of hyperthyroidism okay hyperthyroidism and it starts from few weeks to and last for only few months that's it and uh, usually there will be history for diabetes type 1 right or initial history of any thyroid disease okay the other question is what else you will look up in his or her blood level before treating so it's going to be the C I marked with the C tell me his cholesterol remember this before treating look for cholesterol because you need to treat that also that's very important okay or regarding the treatment for postpartum thyroiditis you need to you can for mild cases no need of treatment if it is severe then you can treat with the beta blockers okay okay thank you so much for watching my video thank you